Hello guys, back and now back and better with Maya 2017, yeah boy I finally got it and we're going to start rocking some tutorials again. Um, so I'm just going to go over some of my older tutorials where I think necessary just to update to 2017, it's been a long time coming um, but I'm all there, fully legit. Got my license and everything. I've upgraded to V-Ray 3.52 as well, the latest V-Ray. So I'm going to be doing some of that. Um, so I'm just going to tackle the tank tank tread issues that loads of people had before. I have just created myself a simple tank tread here. Um, so yeah, let's get going, man. Um, I've not been using 2017 for long, so you're going to have to bear with me. Mash is all new to me, uh, just sort of learning at the moment, but let's just go ahead and create a Mash network. And I'm just going to get open um, the Mash editor so we can see things a little bit better. Okay, so we have got a distribution um, of our object there under the distribute node. We can see we've got 10 of those. I'm going to wait up to about 60. I'm going to pull the uh, distance down and that will become apparent why I'm doing that in a bit. There are a couple of tutorials out there at the moment uh, doing tank treads with MASH. Um, I've got something uh, to add to it which just makes the tank tread look a little bit better um, but also I felt a duty to kind of do this tutorial based on the fact that I did a tutorial for my 2013 a while back. Anyway, um, so let's get the uh, outliner open as well. Okay, so first things first, uh, let's just get in here into the uh, mesh node and we're going to just create, create ourselves a curve node. Okay, so with the input curve here, we're just going to go to our outliner, we're going to grab our middle curve. Um, let's just go back to the curve node there. Uh, oh god, what one was the middle curve, the first one? Do you know what, I'm just going to call this middle save messing around and let's just drag that into the input curve and then we can see that you know that uh, mesh is starting to represent that shape there I'm just going to put the step size to one and now all of a sudden we've got our mesh uh, going around the curve um, I'm going to turn up um, I don't know too much about this roll amount but all, what I do know is that we'll stick it up to one is, uh, we're going to stick an aim curve in here which is our secondary curve here and currently all I can see is that once we put that aim curve in if this curve comes outside of that curve it breaks it I mean I'm sure there's a big old reason for it um, I'll have to look up on the documentation but anyway let's just drag that aim curve in there um, I'm guessing it's just to do with like the aim like there you go so that's our aim curve. So you've got one curve controlling um, the shape and the distribution around that single curve and it's kind of got like an aim vector towards this uh, outer curve which we can manipulate. Right, so let's just go back into the curve and animation speed. I'm just going to turn that down a little bit. And what I think I'm going to do is... I think I'm going to parent that to that because I'm going to be animating... Um, can I move that? Yeah, cool. So yeah, we'll just go back to frame one. Oh, I've got some animation on it from earlier anyway. So let's uh, undo that. Let's just go and have a look. Ah, uh, uh, the outline and not the node editor. Go away, node editor. Outliner. So yeah, select the outside, select the inside parent. So now that should go off with that. Okay, so yeah, basically the animation is on the curve straight away anyway, um, because we've got this animation speed here, which is all good in the hood. So if I rewind and play now, that's a little bit on the slow side. You're just gonna have to eyeball this one, guys. Also, my animation on my curves has got a bezier on it. Um, so I'm just gonna go into Window, Animation Editor, Graph Editor, open that up. Let's uh, find our curve should be in there somewhere. Curve, hello, curve. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, there's a curve, it's got a bezier on it. 
um, select curve and I'm just going to make that linear so now we haven't got a slower start than our animation on our tank tread so I just rewind and play and I'm just going to make that a little bit faster still yeah, a little bit faster still probably at a default with 0.5 really yeah rock and roll so yeah that's doing what I wanted to do but what I did earlier is um, I just added a little something extra to this whole animation so let's uh, go back in here and if we add a do, 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 what was it um, oh man come on come on it was a signal so if we add a signal node to it add signal node we can see that everything's starting to jump up and down and go crazy uh, so if I rewind and play now we can see that things are bobbing up and down but it's quite nice I noticed that you could just dial this down um, and just get a little bit of jiggle in, in there so it just looks a little bit more kind of like it's going over a terrain so you can see all this going on down there which is kind of cool I thought that was quite nice just a nice little addition um, I'll just zero these bad boys out and just use the Y direction so it does sort of break the tank treads apart a bit but if you just do a little bit it just gives it a little bit of um, yeah just that little bit of something to it and also you can change the frequency and that kind of thing with it um, what else is it? Noise settings. So we can have like the noise going crazy. So like the whole thing's jiggling about a lot more. Like if you're going over really small stones and that. It's pretty cool. Yeah, so uh, it's a quick one from me, really. It was just a check in, let you guys know that I'm all 2017 up. Um, and we're going to start smashing some uh, super cool tutorials, you know. Um, uh, let me know if you've got any ideas of sort of tutorials you want, and I will see you guys shortly.